The new drama series Chimerica, based on Lucy Kirkwood's Olivia award-winning stage play of the same name, which he also adapted for television, is set during the run-up to the 2016 US presidential election and follows Lee Berger, an American photojournalist played by Alessandro Nivola. He was made famous by an image he took from the curtains of a nearby hotel room almost 30 years ago of a man known simply as Tank Man, who carrying a handful of plastic shopping bags faced down a phalanx of Chinese tanks rumbling into Tiananmen Square. And while his gesture became an enduring symbol of the bloody uprising in Beijing, the identity of the lone brave protester remained shrouded in mystery. Many years later, while on assignment in Syria, the idealistic Berger loses his way while attempting to somehow recreate his early success when his journalistic integrity is compromised after he doctors an image of a villager and her child being menaced by a malicious soldier with an assault rifle. An unthinking spur of the moment decision, it upends his world, coming just as Trump begins his attacks on the press and the integrity of news gathering. It's a point in time when the very notion of journalistic truth is being questioned. As Burgess' editor says, you have made us all look dirty right at the moment we have to look immaculate. You play right into his tiny hands. Yeah. The deceit is revealed while Berger, accompanied by his long-term journalist other half, or so-called text companion, the incorruptible and principled Mel Kincaid, played by Cherry Jones, sets off to China to report on the reaction to Trump's candidacy, which is not only positive, but vociferously so. The Chinese seemingly entranced by his candidacy. Vote Trump! Vote Trump! Vote Trump! I found this really difficult to come to grips with, mm. with in its intent. I mean, it seems to be this hand-wringing thing about the demise of ge uh, democracy. Uh, certainly in China, uh, the election of Trump, uh, and, you know, it's, it's sort of all hung around this journalist trying to redeem himself by mm. finding oh, Tank Man. And, you know, it's I mean, I dense, think Alessandro Nivola is really sexy on screen. Cherry Jones, I found really overbearing in her performance. I did too, yes, I did too. And F. Murray Abraham, as the editor of the newspaper, has to deal with some of the oh, most from, from cumbersome the dialogue. Mm. Um, so I'm very so-so about this one. I was a bit too. I've only watched one episode. I'm not convinced that I'll... It was just too dense, too much to follow. Well, and... well it's sort of like a, a, it just... I mean, I... I Maybe a stage play, you know, an hour and a half, an hour and three quarter on stage mm. where it can be condensed, but, you know, and some sort of cohesion mm. can be brought to the intentions. But with this, it's just, nah, not for me. No, I agree. I'd very, give it, very hard to follow. I'd give it three stars. I'd give it three as well. It was a very disappointing, I found. You've made all of us look dirty. Right at the moment we need to be immaculate. You have to find him before they do. How am I not important? It's not a crusade, Lee. It's desperation. This is a man's life we're talking about. I keep thinking this isn't happening, and I'm going to wake up any minute, and then I don't. <laughs>